Hello. Lisa Montgomery is scheduled to get executed by the United States federal government on January 12th. The death penalty is murder. The death penalty needs to get abolished. I live in Canada where the death penalty got abolished in 1976. Now it's time for the US and all other countries to abolish the death penalty too. When I talk about saving Lisa, some people say to me, I'm saving my compassion for Bobby Jo Stinnett and her daughter. Compassion is not pie. There's enough compassion to go around for everyone. We can have compassion for Bobby Jo Stinnett and her daughter and Lisa Montgomery too. Some people have said, look at what Lisa Montgomery did. She knew what she was doing when she committed that terrible crime. She planned it all out. She deserves to die for that. If you think a crime is especially heinous when it's a crime that was all planned out, look at the death penalty. The death penalty is premeditated murder. The execution squad has rehearsals. The reason you think murder is wrong is because you are a good person. Being against the death penalty doesn't require you to adopt a new set of values. It just requires you to live the values you already have. When Lisa Montgomery killed Bobby Jo Stinnett in 2004, it was because she had a psychotic breakdown after a lifetime of getting abused. If you've never gotten abused so terribly that you had a psychotic breakdown and killed someone, I am glad for you. Consider yourself lucky. Don't consider yourself to be any better than Lisa or anyone else. I've shared several articles about Lisa Montgomery and when people read about her childhood and how she got tortured by her mother and many men, they are shocked. Friends of mine have said they felt like they were going to vomit when they read about what Lisa has been through. Lisa does not deserve to get murdered. She deserves the same things that all other beings deserve. Love, respect, compassion, empathy, patience, understanding, justice. The system has let Lisa down her whole life and now the system is planning on killing her and we can't let this happen. Please read the articles I will post under this video and share them to help spread awareness. Please sign and share the petition to save Lisa. Use the hashtags save Lisa. Her whole truth abolish the death penalty. Christmas is Lisa's favorite time of year. I want to wish Lisa Montgomery and everyone else a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. Check out these pics of beautiful gifts that Lisa made for her family members and attorneys. Have mercy for Lisa, let her live. My late friend Diane Gandy Sorby, who you may remember from videos such as Don't Insult, told me that she was raised to support the death penalty. Her mother taught her that some people are just bad people and we don't need them around. Fortunately, Diane came to realize that we're all products of our environments and she realized the whole system is what is evil and needs to end. So if Diane can change and come to realize that the death penalty needs to get abolished, everyone else can change too. Be the change that you want to see in the world. The death penalty promotes killing as a way to solve problems. If you're against murder, speak out against the death penalty. If you're against murder, speak out against the whole system that is causing people like Lisa to suffer and not get their needs met. If Lisa had gotten rescued from that house of horrors that she grew up in and she had gotten showered with love every day, she never would have killed anyone as an adult. I am sorry I didn't do more to stop Brandon Bernard and so many other people from getting executed. I will do more to speak out against the death penalty and I hope you will too. Once again, I encourage you to please read about Lisa's story and share her story to help spread awareness. We can save Lisa and abolish the death penalty. Thank you very much. My friends, Amanda Margaret Sinclair said this, I feel like the most just thing is to eliminate the causes of crime, not to hold individuals accountable, but to change the systems that make crime inevitable. If people dislike murder, more murder is not going to solve the problem. Better social systems and alterations to oppressive cultural norms will eliminate crime. Retribution, as studies show, does not work. We need to think about restorative justice, rehabilitation, and have healing as the goal, not punishment. Also, I think your speech is really well said. Many good points. Thank you for speaking up about this. Thank you for speaking up about this too, Amanda.